Hi, time to paint another painting. And you'll notice this is something that you will and not only enjoy, but it'd be something that you can really add to uh, with your own your own ideas. Uh, I'm going to uh, kind of just go over this briefly. What we did do, uh, the sky is is done very quickly with uh, with just uh, a minimum amount of time spent on it. In fact, all of this is, is done this way, except and, and down to this area. And then we got into the, here in this area, and we uh, put in a little more detail and uh, kept it going a little more. And now what I want to bring out mostly is the fact that uh, I want you to, we didn't really finish this because I want you to add some of the things that you want to put in there. There are many, many things that you can do to improve this painting and add to it. So uh, uh, as, uh, for instance, uh, using some, uh, oh, probably uh, light forest and light meadow, put in a little bit of grasses in here. Put maybe put in an ant hill, something like that. Put in uh, uh, the tops uh, of the uh, uh, on the sagebrush, and uh, they are definite little tops. Let's see, I'll mix, uh, here's our western sky, I'll mix about, oh, a little more of the, probably half and half of the warm snow and western sky, and we'll grade with this. And I'm not going to do a lot of explaining about while I'm grading, because you know how to do this, and, and uh, I can concentrate and, and uh, do it quicker if uh, if I don't have to explain each little thing that I'm doing. Okay, that should be good enough. Using the background brush, we'll putting a little bit of water in our combination of Western sky and warm snow. Okay, here we go. Starting up here with the long strokes across the top of our canvas. Okay, now I'm just going to come back and pick up some warm snow. We would, I'll be right back. Okay, here we go. Now you can see that I'm really, this is going to be kind of clouds in, in there. Okay, that should be good enough. Uh, just real fluffy little clouds. This is a nice hot summer day.
Okay. Why don't uh, Why don't you go ahead and paint that in as I have? Then we'll come back and start uh, working forward. I put out a couple different um, paints. Also, we have the dark woods and sage. And now, if you if you don't have a clue as to what we're going to paint, we're going to paint something with uh, with some sagebrush in it. So you'll get the idea how we, how we do that and have some decent looking um, sagebrush. So to start with, we need some very distant hills. And uh, take a. I have the um, sky base or the the uh, yeah sky base that we put on there, and I'm going to add a little bit of dark wood to that, and a little bit of sage, and we'll start from there and see where we are here. 
a lot of guess and by gosh in these type painting, but that's what's kind of fun about it too. If everything was cut and dried, why well, that wouldn't be fun at all. Now I have some fog out here, so I'm going to put a little fog with that to lighten that up a little bit, maybe a little more. Because this is distant, distant, distant. And we're going to put this on. I guess we'll start with the uh, background brush. So let's try that. I can thin this a little bit. But we don't want to start with a lot of paint either. We want to kind of clean that brush out a little bit. Okay, let's try this. Now, let's uh, let's do this. I'm going to come up right under this about horizon. We'll make this a little above uh, a little above a halfway mark. So let's just go in and I want to put this on. I just want to see how that's going to look for. It might be a little dark for what we want to do, but maybe. Maybe not. Now, when we put this on, ha uh, see, I'm letting a little bit of the the uh, color from the panel come through there. See how light and, and um, easy touch we're doing. The, these are distant hills, so they. No, there's no individual plants or anything that can be seen on these. See, those are probably seven or eight miles away. And we can always touch this up if it doesn't come through. But one thing we want to consider and remember that this will become more intense and darker as uh, as it dries. So you have to keep that in mind. And you make up your own contours. Okay, let's see, I gather up a little more of this now. Come in here. In fact, I think I can come in a little stronger with this now because we're coming in closer. Now we'll be putting a bluff or something in this area so it doesn't make that much difference. What what we're putting over there. I'm, I'm also I'm not using the end of the brush. I'm using the flat side of the brush. So that we don't paint everything out. Okay. I tell you what, that's about as much as we're going to do at this time. So you go ahead and put the, your distant hills in there, and then we're going to come back and start uh, with something a little more intense.
Okay, we have another new paint. We have autumn, and I put out some more fog. And uh, so let's do this. I'm going to mix together about equal parts of fog and autumn. Uh, maybe a little more autumn here. This you can see this is very scientific. So I, I hope you will be just as scientific as you're painting as I am. Okay, that looks that looks pretty good mess there. So let's let's try that. Gather it up on the back of a knife. Over in this area, I want to come clear up in, into here. I'll keep my hand out of the way if I can. Come come over. Bring this over here. Drop it down here. And bring this right out into there. Okay. Some more just like that. Okay, this is going to be a just a little um, bluff or hill of some kind coming out here. And I guess I'll let you go ahead and paint paint that in using the knife. Uh, and then uh, then by then I'll just decide what else we're going to do to it.
I put out some more sage and some uh, dark wood and we're going to uh, at this time put some more sage on on our um, hills over here that the ones that are closer to us now we still have some work to do on the on the distant hills we have on touch up here and there but I'm mixing these two together and we're going to put this on with a knife and that's about half and half half dark wood and half sage I think we'll just start right along in here now we have some of that combination right on the back of our knife and we're just going to go in and put put this on now this looks real dark and and it is as there's a was a heck of a contrast between our sage over here and and this in here but what we'll be doing is putting some more sage over the top of that and come up a ways on the on our little bluff here Now I'm going to go back and pick up just some sage. Uh, and we'll do this the same way. Just uh, put, um, smash some on the back of our knife. And then we transfer it up to our canvas. Okay, now we'll do this. Just like the just like we did putting the other on. Okay, better pick up some more. Now you can see that old sagebrush just to grow on there like like we want it. Now we can always come back and put some rocks, different uh, different types of rock in here. So there's many many things you can do once you get the base for this done and it makes it quite interesting I don't know I'm thinking of putting a maybe a, a road and a fence line in here uh, and then we'll see how much time we have we may put a an old uh, cabin or something maybe a sheep herders wagon Something for interest anyway. Okay, I think that's about as much as going to 
do now. Okay, you, you put put that on as as I have, then we will come back and work on some something else.
What we're going to do now is put our earth tones up forward. So we'll just finish out the rest of the the canvas um, so everything is pretty well covered with paint. And I'm mixing together equal parts of fog and autumn. And I'm mixing in just a tiny bit of sunset. This will give us some nice good warm colors up forward. And we'll use the background brush to paint this in with. I'll have to thin that some. So I have a little water in there. So we'll just paint this in solid now. Starting up here somewhere, we'll just paint this in. Okay. That's going to be pretty good. Now that didn't take long, did it? So, but I think I'll go ahead and let you paint that in. Then we'll come back and start uh, putting in some more. I'll probably, I think this is probably dry enough up, up here. Now we can start putting something on our little bluff up there.
I put out some warm snow and we're going to use some warm snow into the earth tones that we have mixed up here and this will be some rocks on our bluff. I think that's the next thing we need to do. So I'm going to mix maybe two parts warm snow to um, one part earth tone. Eh, that looks about right. I think that's a good combination. Or, uh, yeah, paint uh, or combination of paint anyway to start with. All right, let's go right over. I'll try and keep out of the way here and use the side of the knife like this. And this is going to, this is a sandstone, I guess you might say. Okay, now. Ah, this on the other side of the knife. Be working from this side now. Now we can even put a few rocks and boulders out in here. Okay, I think that's probably enough of that now. Now I'll go back and pick up a little bit of uh, mahogany. I don't know if I remember saying that I had some mahogany out here, but I, I do have. And um, I don't know, so I want to, we'll, we'll try it, we'll try it anyway. Just, just straight mahogany, get a little bit on the edges of the knife and we'll this will be shadowing un underneath, uh, mixed in with the rocks. All right. Let's see. Let's just put a little bit of shadowing like, like this on there. Oh, we got a lot of shadow right there. But maybe that's good. Who knows? Oop, I got that a little strong there. Now, I'll put a little of this right up on top. Not much, just a little bit, because we're going to be putting some sage up on top of that little hammer in a little bit. Now I'll just clean up my knife on here. 
because I know we're going to need a little shadowing on there. Now, I think that's about as much as we need to do with that. You go ahead and put uh, the the um, star or, uh, rocks and uh, shadows on there. Then we will work on another part of the painting.
Okay, we're going to put in some, I'll finish our uh, background uh, and we'll put in a little bit of rock ridges or something in, in there. We'll, we'll see as we get there, but I'm just going to use the earth tones that, uh, that we were using uh, and uh, that should be okay. Uh, let's do this uh, right back in. Uh, I think along. Now I'm gonna try and keep out of the way and use the right side of the knife and just indicate a little bit of rocks or earth tones back there. This is really kind of just finishing touch as we go. Pick up a little more and you might add a little bit of the warm snow as, as I did just then. Have a little ledge coming down here. I think it adds interest to a painting. I think it works better if I work over on on this this side and then, and then I'm not so apt to be in the the way my hand is usually in the way and we want you to be able to see what I'm doing even if it's wrong which in painting you don't do anything wrong it says here Okay, I think that's that's what we want want to do now. Come in a little, a little closer, add a little bit of more warm, or uh, <coughs> warm snow, uh, and uh, we'll catch a little bit of this ridge along here. about like that. Now I'm going to use, get over here, the fan brush and put in a little bit of um, earth tones out in here. Um, nothing spectacular but just to give a little warmth and a little interest in in this area and I think right in here I do a little bit more. Okay. Okay, looks pretty good. Now, um, over in here, just and probably down here. If yours is looking all right, why you don't have to do that. Mine, mine was a, a little bit scroungy right in there that I needed to touch up. Okay, I think that's that's probably good enough for that. Once you go ahead and just do that touch up work, then we're going to come come back and put in uh, probably some more sagebrush uh, and. Sp Bar, more sparse than this is in this area, then also we might go for uh, a road or a fence line or something like that.
Now, I'm going to use the number four round brush, pick up some more of our uh, earth tones, and starting in this area, I'm going to put a line right down here, about like that. Paint that in solid. And this gives us a place to put wherever we're going to put anyway. Uh, I think uh, what I might do is maybe using, I'm just going to pick up um, some um, Yeah, I'm I'm picking up some um, mahogany and dark wood, and uh, and also some of the earth tones. And what I need to do is just have something darker because we're going to be coming ar around this knoll, and it's going to be in a shadow. So let's. Uh, Let's put this on about like this. Okay. Something like that. Now I'm just going to spread some of this so we'll have some shadowing out on our ground out here. Maybe pick up a little more of that. Now that looks like a mess, but it's, um, I think you, after we finish, why, you'll see that it was comes in handy to make a few messes along the way. Okay, now we have we have that situation taken care of. You go ahead and paint that in. And all I used was some dark woods, some mahogany, and some of the earth tones. And I mixed that together to put on uh, our, our shadowing on here. So you can do the same thing.
Now, we have some more dark wood and some more sage. I'm going to use the fan brush and I'm going to mix together this half and half, equal parts, but I'm not going to um, mix them thoroughly. I just, just uh, have them quite marbled and then we'll gather up some of this mess and take it up to our uh, canvas. Okay, out in here we're just going to um, put different bunches of sagebrush. We're going to have some areas where there won't be any uh, any sagebrush. Then there'll be other areas that'll be quite thick with sagebrush. Now you'll notice when I'm putting that on, uh, the farther the distance, the less height there is to those bunches of sagebrush. And as we come forward, it becomes uh, longer. Uh, and that's what, we, uh, what we're working on. And uh, let's come up here now and put some about like this, kind of draw those on like that. Because these are close, close in. And this way we can put a road down through there and uh, not have to knock down all of our sagebrush. Okay, and we don't want to overdo it. Okay. Now, oh, let's put let's put a little bit right up here. Okay. Okay, by using those combinations of paints, you go ahead and uh, put the, the sagebrush, groups of sagebrush on as I have. Uh, then we'll come back and uh, I'll have to put some grasses in there yet and we'll, we'll lay out our fence and road.
Now I've put out some more sage, just straight sage, and I'm going to use a fan brush. I'm going to thin that a little bit, and we're just going to put our put some uh, sage color on our brush in the foreground. Okay, that's right on top of where where we have our sage. Let's do this. Let some of that dark show through. Don't cover it all up. I don't like that. We'll put the road and fence on after we do this. Get a little more precise when we get up close here. probably put some, do a little more work on the sagebrush when it's up close here. And you can do this with um, with a sponge or paper towel. It looks real good too. But to save time, we'll use the brush. Now, go ahead and put this in, then we'll come back and put our road and fence.
Now, <clears throat> we have some fog, autumn, and a tiny bit of sunset. We're going to have some more uh, earth tones. So, I think what I'm going to do, I, I mix, they're just about equal parts of uh, fog and uh, uh, Autumn. Now add a little bit of the sunset. And this will be our mixture for our little road that we're going to put on there. Let's try this using the f number four flat brush. Okay. Okay, let's do this. Um, we need to put our road in there. We don't want to put it right in the center and take it out that direction. Uh, it looks better if it's uh, kind of, uh, oh, not, uh, not straight, but uh, let's take this a little. This is one track going right out here. And there'll be one probably here. I may have to lighten that up a little bit. Uh, put a little more fog out there because that's not showing up too good. And I don't think you'll be able to see it. In fact, I might just go ahead and use some fog to, to lay this out. And then we can change it a little bit too. All right, let's do this now. Yeah, this will be able to see more better, I think. And then uh, one track here. And sometimes it's e it's easier to start at a distance and come forward. So let's let's try that. Now I've got where I want to come here with the. This is one track, and this will be one track going here. And we'll just go right through what we've painted. Okay, that's a... Now I'm going to come over about right in here somewhere. Pick this up. Turn it here. Got all right. Roads are kind of kind of hard to do sometimes, especially if you're using a wide brush like I am. But I want you to be able to see, to be able to see what what and where we're going here. Yeah, I thought just changed my mind. I think we'll just do it. Start our swing this way, and this coming through here. We'll turn and make a swing this way. Okay, and that'll be good. Right there, and there, go right down here, down in this way. Now we have that laid out. Uh, I think I'll go with the uh, number two round liner brush and um, pick this up down here someplace. I'll say going uh, probably right in, right in here. Where it goes comes over the hill here we'll have a little have a little uh, indication of road. But at that distance you really wouldn't see too much of a, a road. Probably no more than that. In fact, that's probably too wide. I need to bring that. Now, 
now we'll take it right down into here behind this little ridge okay and maybe show the turn right as it goes over the hill here right down here Okay, now we have a very crooked road in there, but that's all right. And of course this track becomes much wider here uh, in, the, in the foreground. Now I guess you can see that all right. Yeah. That looks, that looks pretty reasonable. Now it's going to take you a little while to do this, so we'll give you time to put, uh, put that on there. Now we'll need some shadowing in, in here also. But let's once you go ahead and, and get you in the road, uh, and... Uh, and then we'll come back and put some shadowing and some tops on our on our sagebrush and a little some something on top of the knoll up here. And I, that's probably about all the time we'll have. So go ahead and work on the road now.
now, um, because of the road uh, is just a little bit of the wrong color, we need to go back and, and touch that up. And we'll just use the combination of paints that I mixed before to do this with. Now, let's um, let's just kind of uh, set this up a little bit. This is maybe just a little bit wide back here, but um, I did want to be able to show show that. So I'll do about like like that. Just now, I think that's a little better color of that old road going over the hill there. Okay, now we'll do this. Okay, I think that's going to be better now. <laughs> okay, looks like a lot of tracks out there, doesn't it? Okay, now let's go back to our palette. And I have out here some uh, sage, western sky, and fog. And what I'm going to do is lighten up the sage to put the um, all, all detail on our sagebrush in the foreground anyway. And so I'm mixing together uh, one part each our two parts sage and one part um, western sky and one part fog and this will be the highlights on our uh, on our sage now I don't mix I didn't mix that real good but um, I think what I'll do that with will be well let's try the first the fan brush and see how that works out Gather that up. And get it on the end. I think anything in, in this area, we, we need to add a little, little of this and just just touch it with the, lightly with the uh, fan brush. And these are little highlights that come out. After thinking or seeing how this is working, I'm going to hold the brush down uh, down here and maybe go up this way. Maybe we can do a little better job. There, I like that better. Now, be sure and don't overdo. We don't want to change that altogether. We want the, the color underneath, but we want some highlights on there. I'll have to build this up just a little bit more. Okay, now we'll do the same thing over here. Just there, that's looking good. Be persistent and sooner or later you're going to win.
Now I didn't load that brush up only just once to do all of this so uh, that might be a good indication that you don't use too much on here. Okay, now I'm going to put just a little bit more on because it's going to be, in fact, what I might do, I'm, I might try some paper towel right on this bush right in here. So let me try that and see what happens. All right, let's, I'm just, I'm going to use paper towel and pick up a little bit of that same mixture and we'll try it on here now. And this has to be a, a very light touch so oh yeah see that looks good see that uh, uh, looks great on there now we still have to put the tops on sagebrush a lot of people don't put tops on sagebrush and it's a it sure looks better if if you do Uh, I think that's probably just, oh, but we'll just put a little more around these right over here. They're quite close here. That looks good. All right. Uh, now you, you go ahead and touch the road up as I have, uh, and then uh, the, the uh, say, oh, let's do one more thing. Let's go right up here. Uh, and put a little sage on top of the uh, bluff up here. And I'll just use the, the uh, paper towel to do that and just, just put a little color up there, mostly what we need. Yeah, see that looks, that looks better. Now, you go ahead and do what, what I have, then we're going to have to come back and finish this up.
Now, I have put out some more dark woods that we're going to work with, and uh, I'm going to add a little bit of the um, light sage to the dark woods. And this is just to lighten this up because we need one thing we need some shadowing from from the sagebrush and a, a hint on the on the little road and so let's try this all right now what what I in here we need to put a little shadowing coming right out here like this our lights coming from the left I'll uh, see there's some there and then uh, as we make the corner here we need oh let's see come about here come in here and also just an indication right in here kind of where that going Okay, that's I think that's probably all right. Uh, then I, I'll uh, heavy this up a little bit in here, uh, where I put my old road through there, and I didn't really want it there. Okay, and uh, oh, let's see, let's put a little shadowing out, coming off in this the sagebrush out here, here. And you can you can do this on your on your own if we don't have a chance to to uh, get it done here. Uh, and this is a a good painting to work on and put different things in there. You can put uh, I'll, I'll want to put a little bit of grasses in here, but if I don't get a chance, why they give you a chance to to do it on your own because this is a this is what it's all about is learning to do this and then the best way to learn is is do it on on trial and error they're a better teacher than I am by a long way okay I think that's uh, that's about about all that I'm uh, I'm going to do there uh, I know there are other things that need to be done uh, and um, if you want to get into deep do uh, detail I'm going to use a, a, the round little round brush and some dark woods and you can put some uh, trunks on some of these up up close like this maybe not that dark let's see we need some more uh, uh, lighter color here I, I would say sage, or a uh, little bit of um, dark woods and um, fog probably be a, a good combination to to use. So that's that's the things that uh, you can we can bring this around here now. Okay, I'm going to let you finish finish this up because we really don't have too much time left and uh, this will be a good experience for you to put, dream up your own things you want to put on there.